And of course, the most traditional event of all, we can't forget the family holiday dinner. But being a home to go challenge, we've turned the tables a bit and we've asked a couple who are normally the guests to become the hosts. Most of you will recognize Brian and Suzanne as part of the home to go makeover team, but this time they get to make over their own space. Well, Christmas is just around the corner, so um, we're pretty excited about having a larger group together. We thought being that we have our very first home, it would be great to host a party here. Uh, my thoughts on decorating for the holidays, uh, you know, goes not just for the holidays, but in anything I do. I believe cohesiveness is important, so repeating a lot of the same elements. Um, you're minimizing the amount of, uh, of clutter you might have and the amount of different types of elements that you're using for decorations, uh, and I think it really pulls together a space, living room and dining room, that it feels as one. So it's not jarring as you're coming in and out of one room, you're still feeling the same ambiance and the same sensibilities as, uh, of the design. Our prior apartment had a much larger dining room and larger spaces, so it's really dealing with the flow of traffic between the two rooms and, and the tight, um, small dining room. I think it'll be interesting, uh, and the home is small, there's no doubt, but I think it'll be great in that it'll be very cozy, and that's what Christmas is about. Brian and Suzanne want to decorate for the season in a way that complements their existing modern decor while still adding some holiday sparkle. But first, the age-old conquest, squeezing an oversized conifer into an undersized living room. Huge tree you've selected. Uh, eight foot and change. Wow, there's about a quarter of an inch to spare up at the top and quite full. We're gonna use this particular corner, which was a yeah. bit thin anyway. It's a little bit thin, but I think the room can really use it. It'll really help. Uh, fill the room. Okay. And the just white lights? Just white lights, 10 strands, a thousand bulbs. That's a lot of lights. It's a lot of lights, but worth it. Or we talked about maybe some silver, silver balls? Maybe, but we'll see how it looks afterwards. Okay. I like the fact that you've got a drop cloth on the bottom. Just quickly, do a drop cloth, light your tree, let all the pins and needles drop. Lift your tree, pull it out from underneath. Exactly. So it, just, it gets rid of your mess. Good idea. Later. Considering that we're doing this all in one day, you've got yep. guests arriving in yep. about six hours, yep, so we've exactly. got to hustle. Um, we're going to start at the top of the tree yep. you talked Let's about. Do it. And we've opted to light the lights uh, ahead of time so we can really space them out quite nicely. Yep. It's, it's a good idea. idea. There's the tip of it. Okay, so typically we'll just start it from the very top of the tree. Right. Work our way around. And as far as how we do this, um, what I like to do is actually go down the core of the tree and out per branch. So we'll go down. Okay. I know it's tedious, but it yeah. really creates a lot of depth and the tree really twinkles after it's finally wrapped. As you can see, we're in a designer's home where you'd find only the smartest looking ladder. Thank you. <laughs> this is amazing. It's a piece of artwork on its own. Yeah, it's really fun. And you know, it's really very functional. <laughs> That's great. You've got a wonderful project for addressing the back wall of the dining room, a real focal point. Yeah, um, we want to hang some beautiful cracked mirror balls. They're beautiful. I love this color, by the way. Yeah, it's thank dark you. Dark gray. Yeah, some, fo some people find it perhaps a little heavy handed, but we like the drama and how it really brings out all the architecture with the white surrounds around the doors and windows. Right. Now, the idea is to suspend these beautiful mercury glass balls that you found, yeah. and I like the idea of using this gorgeous ribbon. Yeah, we, got, we found this beautiful organza ribbon, uh, and we chose a color to match the wall. So when it's up there, the balls feel like they're floating, wow. but in, in there's a, it creates a slight little shimmer. And the idea is to have how many of them? I think it's 18? They're around 18, I think. At yeah. different heights. At different heights. I like this idea. What you've done is just a small little fold over on the uh, ribbon there, stitch that across right. so that it fits your stainless steel rod here. Right. We chose to do a stainless steel rod at the top so we minimize the amount of holes. Instead of having 18 little holes in the ceiling, right. we just do three little points, suspend the rods, and then that way you can actually space out the balls as you see it proportionally. Wow, Brian, this is quite spectacular. Thank What's you. beautiful, obviously, is people at home can select their own ribbon and yes. ornament of choice Absolutely. and really customize it. But what about after the holidays? After the holidays, we can uh, use it for any other type of holiday again. So Valentine's Day, you can de decorate it. Little hearts that. could be cute. Um, but otherwise, taking it down and you had another great idea. Just using it as a gallery um, suspension system for artwork. Perfect. Perfect. 
Suzanne and I are now ready to address their newly expanded dining table. Really simple solution. We've taken a piece of three quarter inch plywood, cut down to what size was it? 40 by 90. Okay, perfect. We laid it over their existing table. Better to accommodate eight people. It really fills the room. We're ready now to layer the linens, which we've rented actually. Yes, we didn't have linens to fit this table, so we thought we'd rent them. And it's, okay. this is a simple cotton to go underneath, and then something with some sparkle on top. Yeah, I've got the overlay, which is a beautiful organza, crinkly organza. So we'll start with that and then the overlay. Perfect. Suzanne, this is really starting to take shape. It's a good beginning. It's beautiful. Love your centerpiece idea. Thank you. Uh, we decided to use this mirror to take place of a fabric runner. Right. Great. And I know you got other elements. We opted to rent dining chairs. Yes, we don't have eight of the same matching chairs, so we thought we'd rent them. And again, in the same silver, white, sparkle. Yeah. Theme. It's coming together. It looks beautiful. I know we have a lot more yes, elements now. <laughs> okay. With the perfect dining table all set, Brian has one more wonderful detail for each of his guests. Yes, what we want to do is, is use little photographs of each individual guest. Right. Put them in these wonderful little frames that we found. There's a couple dollars for half a dozen of them. Great. Uh, again, in the silver finish, so it kind of works with our theme. Uh, cut them out, put them inside, and then use them as place settings so people know where they're seated. Oh, that's wonderful. Um, and I think you talked about there are also little gifts for everybody. Yeah, so then they get to take a moment. Oh, that's such a great idea. Up next, great designer tips on how to meld the seasonal look into your existing decor. The elements are coming into place for Suzanne and Brian's dinner for eight, and the transformation will be amazing. The monochromatic living room will soon be warm and festive, but will still blend in with the existing decor. It's still Christmas, as much as we like clean and simple and sleek. I think we've obtained that, uh, but still allowing the little bit of color, which is the red and the silver and the glitz and the bit of the yeah. glam. So it, it's, it's us, but it's still what we want, which is friends and family. We created this layer effect by having the silver fabric and then layering it with the red silk curtains and then having the warm throw, which gives it that wintry, warm feeling. And then the addition of the, the red pillows on top. And it's just the layering of the same color colors that, that are happening throughout the space. Right. And nothing that you're committed to because the drapes clip on. That's right. The throw pulls off. Yeah, it's a one-time thing. If you want it to last longer, you let it happen. If not, take them down. Just adding the splash of color and a few hits with the pillows also. Right, which we, you we, created those pillows, which were really we great. We made the pillows, um, just bought some beautiful red fabric and some gorgeous ribbon and just wrapped them around. It just makes it look like a little gift package. Yeah, exactly. Here's a great holiday centerpiece idea. Take a square tray, arrange different heights of glass candlesticks, then fill the bottom with cranberries. Top off with a few green sprigs. The red color adds a touch of elegance and ties in with other seasonal accents, such as the draperies, the pillows, and the centerpiece on the dining room table. Brian's tree of a thousand lights brings a festive mood to the living room. No other decorations are even needed. The gift wrapping of presents repeats the color scheme, keeping a clean and modern aesthetic. In the opposite corner of the room, Brian came up with a more abstract interpretation of the usual Yuletide tree using garden trellis. Yeah, it's something that you put out back, and I just when I saw them, I thought, you know what, these would be perfect. Yeah. Um, perhaps for someone who might not want to cut down the tree. They could have something like this, a small grouping, and kind of resemble exactly. the tree for Christmas. Simple solutions to this small dining space created a festive but uncluttered dining space for eight. Adding a traditional touch are the pine branches and metal lanterns which decorate the window sills. This creates repetition and flow. The pine accents established in the living space are now incorporated in the dining room as well. 
I absolutely love the centerpiece. Yeah. I think with all the silver details, the silver balls, the little cranberry um, garland down the center, and everything just has a little bit of reflectance to it. It just adds that glamour that we're looking for. And Ryan, what are your thoughts? I think I like the balls on the wall. Yeah. Yeah, again, it's, it's me. Really architectural, very simple, but again, it doesn't negate everything that's happening on the dining room. Some advice for first-time holiday entertainers? Don't be afraid to get some help from the professionals. It was great that we went to the caterers and rented some of the pieces. It really makes it a lot easier for us. Mm -hmm. uh, but as far as having this as a yearly tradition and having people over, I think we're, we now feel more comfortable that we can handle it. Um, we have the large table setting we can put away and pull out again in the new year. Any tips for uh, our uh, audience out there in terms of creating their own holiday experience? Again, I've said it before, keep it really simple. Use repeat elements. Yes. So you're not buying too many different things. It becomes cluttering, cluttersome to the eye. Um, and I think if you can manage that, then I think everything pulls together very nicely. If you can focus on one color or maybe two colors and then just go out and look for things that you like that are within that color right. scheme, then it makes your life a lot easier. We have a lovely gift for you guys on behalf of us at uh, home to go oh, Just a small so something that we wanted to present for you guys for the holiday season. Thank, thank you thank very you. much. Do I open it? You can. Now? You can. It's very easy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Thank you. Thank you. This is great. You're very welcome. Celebrating the holidays is the ultimate to-go makeover. When the holiday is over, the decorations will come down, but the memories will always remain. I'm Peter Felico. Happy holidays to you all.